<laughs> Hi, welcome to Validate Me. This is a podcast where me and my dad show each other things that we like in hopes that the other will validate them and say that it's cool. Mm-hmm. Today's episode is about Lizard Boy, which is a really obscure musical. Out of Seattle. I, out of Seattle, yeah. yes. Yeah, that yeah. I really want Seattle, to come back. Seattle, musical please. theater scene. No, see, listen, if this musical comes back, it will be perfect because we get to go to Seattle and eat mm. beachers and eat uh, yeah. We get to go to Seattle, get beachers, yep. and see Lizard Boy. Yeah, that would be cool. I want to go to Seattle just for the food, mostly. I would totally go see this yeah, yes. in, a, in a heartbeat. Yeah, I would. I would uh-huh, in I a would. heartbeat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I would love to see this. Yeah. Yay. Okay, so uh, uh, so this is Presley's assignment. We, we take turns. Yes. Uh, last week, you watched Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, RJ, that we didn't read your email. I'm sorry. We um, didn't know we had it. And so, uh, yeah, we did, we did that. And um, we uh, speaking of email, um, if you want to send us an email, you can send an email to validatemepodcast at okay, gmail.com. Or a validate me cast on Twitter. Yeah, they're different. At validate me cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, hit us up and let us know what you think about either the podcast or what we're talking about, or if there's something you think we should do. Go ahead and send me and tweets. Let us know. Yeah, Presley wants tweets. I'm in charge of the Twitter. So you Presley is sort tweets. of in charge of the Twitter now. Yeah. So uh, so I had her watch Bill and Ted, um, and then she had me listen to the original cast recording of Lizard Boy. Right. Wh- yes. Yeah. Which, by the way, mm-hmm. Happy Pride Month. Oh, happy! It is Pride boy. Month. Yeah. Happy Pride Month. Yeah, this Lizard Why Boy. That's an excellent podcast. Flannel? That's because it's Friday. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, that was it. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> right. Time to be gay. That's exactly right. No, so uh, yeah, this is the original cast recording. I did a little bit of poking around about the story because when we did Be More Chill, yes. like it was really important for me to kind of understand what was going on. Um, it, it made it a lot more impactful for me. So this one had actually a lot less information. It was harder for me to find stuff about what was happening in the yeah. story and on stage and stuff. Uh, but I managed to find a little bit, and I've got a couple. Of, I got one hot take. I got one. one I got a theory that just can't because I was just pulling clips for the soundboard, ooh. and I heard a thing, and I was like, "Ooh, okay. Well, wait a minute. This might be you interesting." Got a hot take? Yeah, yeah. We'll get to it when we get there. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is uh, this is out of Seattle. Do you know when this was recorded by any chance? Do you no, have that in your notes? I sure don't. I think it was 2016. It has come and gone though, right? Yes, like it is no gone. longer being performed. Unfortunately, yeah. uh, it could come back. Be more chills coming back. We're going to New York to see Be More Chill. The prom's coming back. The Prom is coming back? I don't even know what it is. <gasps> it's my favorite lesbian musical. It's uh, so good. Okay. Also, the only one I've listened to besides Wicked, mm-hmm. but it's really good. Mm, the only musical you've listened to or your only lesbian The only lesbian musical yeah, I've listened to. <laughs> right. It's good lesbians. It's good content. It's about two lesbians who aren't allowed to go to prom, and so they're sad, mm-hmm. and it's good. <laughs> okay, great. So you want to tell us what Lizard Boy's about? Lizard Boy. Uh, most important thing you need to know is that it's gay. And so that's what I got all of my friends to listen to it with. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's gay. Go listen to it. Right. And so... It is about Trevor, who yep. is a boy who looks like a lizard, mm. uh, because... Not really. Yes, he does. He has <laughs> scales on some parts of his body. <laughs> <laughs> that does not equal looks like a lizard, but that's okay. Let's go. No, he's not a scaly. Not a scaly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he looks like a lizard a little he's bit. He's got green blotches. He's got green blotches yeah, that yeah. are scaly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, anyways, he's sad because he looks like a lizard, and that has made him a social outcast. Yeah, and a little bit of a, like, agoraphobic. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't want to go outside. Agoraphobic? Agoraph- agoraph- agoraphobic. Agoraphobe. Yeah. Agoraphobic. He doesn't leave the house. He, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, so, he, the song opens with him reminiscing about his ex, who... Who we I, don't know, right? No, we do not yeah, know. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. His ex is just existent. There's a little time hopping going on, so I wasn't yeah. sure if this if we knew who that... If well, we find out later... The playlist or not you had sense. was in the wrong order. No, no, no. I listened to it in the right order. But there's okay. still time hopping in the... Even yes. in the correct order. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So... He's um, reminiscing about someone who broke his heart that yes. made him decide then, to stay in his house for his apartment forever. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag <laughs> and then, relatable. Yep, content. <laughs> um, and then he goes on Grinder and he meets Carrie, who, uh, this is Carrie. Oh, that's Carrie. Oh, this nice. Okay, so Presley, for those of you who are listening to the podcast, like, like correctly, Presley's holding a little, like, white and pink stuffed dog that yes. she has named Carrie. Yes, I have named Carrie. I'm ordering two for, I'm ordering one for Trevor and one for Siren. But In my head, Carrie. that was named, that was spelled K-E-R-R-Y. So it kind of throws me every time I see it as C-A-R-Y. Why? I don't know. I just, I didn't know it's what it does. At least for me, I knew a guy named Carrie like with Carrie a K. Carrie Fisher. Yeah. For me. But it's, a, it's a dude. Carrie. Yeah. Well, he, anyway. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. Right, so he finds Carrie on Grinder. And they hang out. They kind of hook up. Yeah. It doesn't okay. go well. It doesn't go well. Um, and then it goes well again, and they go on a walk, yeah. and they talk about their feeling. They talk mm-hmm. about um, their feelings, and oh wait, I can't say that. <laughs> okay, right. oh, it's supposed to be be more chill reference. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you would get it if you uh, yeah. if you listen to. Do you want to hang? Anyways, so they do um, their thing, and they uh, and then Siren appears. 
yeah. who's like a musician in Seattle. But she's also literally a siren. But she's she has the powers of a siren, at least. Right. Well, she doesn't, have, a, she doesn't a have a fish tail, but... She doesn't have a, well, we don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen the play. Uh, <laughs> she so she shows up, and she has superpowers. She realizes Trevor has superpowers, and she wants to throw down. Kind of. I don't Kinda. know. It's We're a little sure unclear. It's a little unclear what, what their relationship is. I'm sure it was is. clear in the play. But she knows that he has powers and they have some connection. And therefore, I made Presley watch Hancock last night. Yay. Because that kind of happens Spoilers in Hancock. Spoilers for Hancock. There's a, yeah, you had 20 years. You can probably... Save it for your Hancock <laughs> podcast, Dad. <laughs> yeah. So the, we should do a Hancock podcast. There's a lot of depth in Hancock. Uh, so there's this whole thing with uh, 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 Furiosa in, 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 in Hancock. Like, secretly has superpowers Furiosa and Will Smith, Smith Will Smith and they have some past relationship that you don't know what's going on but they're obviously kind of challenging each other but they also hurt each other and love each other at the same time and so that was that connected right, me I, very deeply with what was Hancock happening in the story take? yeah give me your Hancock my Han- save my Han- it for your Hancock <laughs> podcast <laughs> well we're already talking about Hancock my Hancock hot take is that um, the reason they become mortal when they're next when the pairs are near each other mm, yeah. are not because they're supposed to fall in love but because they were supposed to throw down and oh, one of them so was they could to, they could hurt each other. Yeah, and then one of them was, yeah, one of them was supposed to die, mm-hmm. and the other one, like, mm-hmm. what is that movie called? Highlander. That's Highlander. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was one of our uh, yes, movies. Yes, it sure was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, an early one actually. Yeah, yeah. no, that's that's a, that's a valid hot take, right? Take. Um, oh. Not that they should fall in love and live old and like, grow old and die together. No, that's boring. Yeah. <laughs> they <should> fight. <laughs> All right, so the so uh, yeah, so there's Hancock um, and as, a, as a diversion from what we were talking Yay, about. Yeah, Hancock. Right, so Siren shows up. She has some weird Furiosa Will Smith relationship <laughs> with Trevor. Yeah, uh, they they use uh, uh, Carrie as like Carrie a, gets kidnapped. A, he gets kidnapped, and there's a whole thing. He, 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 Trevor has to save him or try and save him. There's a there's a there's a battle, and people die. Can we say who dies? Yeah, this yeah. is a podcast about the. Yeah. Music. All right, so uh, Carrie dies sometimes, only some of the time. <laughs> <laughs> in some of the timelines, <laughs> Carrie dies. Yes. Yeah, so Which, Carrie dies. Like, uh, Carrie, <laughs> Carrie dies, right? And, uh, no, he doesn't. And like then there's a really sad about. song that I was going to call you tomorrow. Kind of thing. Almost my favorite. It's we'll also called I Was Going to Call You, not tomorrow. <laughs> Well, he, but he says in the song tomorrow. Right? Yeah, and well, one of the one. one of the courses he says tomorrow. So it's it's super it's super good. All right, so that's that's kind of the gist of what's happening here, right? It's it is a um, it is a gay. <laughs> it is a gay comic book origin story in a very like Seattle kind of mood kind of thing. <laughs> they like, didn't talk about beaches. It's not. But, Seattle. but they said uh, like re- replace the gray with blood or red or something like that in one <laughs> yeah. of the lyrics. I was like, yeah, yeah that's kind of Seattle. That's Seattle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we talked about Sculpture Park. So <laughs> okay, right. So there's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. It's Seattle. Um, uh, it, it's very Seattle for sure. And uh, yeah, that's the gist of it. But like, let's let's talk about a little bit of kind of details. Do you want you want me to do right. a note or do you want to do a note? Oh, uh, you go ahead. All right, so I've got uh, my first thing is in addition to Hancock, this really reminded me of they both die at the end. It sure did. Yeah, and then I had when There's I was a lot a of like final. Fr- so that's right. our book club book right now. Actually, we'll probably Go read in, it in the next week or so. We're going to do a review of, uh, and of that one now, I and can't we'll talk about how how much that is like this instead of talking about how much this is like that. Yeah, but now I can't listen to this musical without it's thinking like about that and book like that and, and like crying. That. And it oh. sucks. <laughs> you ruined my favorite music. Well, they, but they, I don't know, people die, right? I mean, Carrie died in this one, and Shh. they both died in the end. So there's there's death. Everyone, Actually, cake or about, death. I have a take Have you heard that. cake or death? Do you know uh, cake or death? Not really. Cake or death. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I'll, I'll have cake, please. Uh. Um, hey, welcome to Applebee's. Do you want apples or bees? It's, uh, yeah, yeah. That's a funny bit. We'll do, we'll Anyways, do, we'll do when I do a um, comedian, I'll have you do that one. Shout out to my hot friend who's hopefully listening to this podcast that hmm. introduced me to this musical. Oh, it's sweet. Really good. Let him, awesome. Yeah, I think almost. Everything I've shared here has been introduced by my friends. So Shout there's out. a there's a whole like connection between they both die in you know one person who's kind of alone and they're looking for somebody else and they use an app to find another person and they turn out to kind of be soulmatey kind of connection kind of Yay. thing. So it, it, there's a lot of similarities. And listening to the like this could be the soundtrack to they both die. At oh, the absolutely. End, right? They totally Especially, they tie together in really amazing yeah, ways. My favorite two for those are I was going to call you tomorrow and yeah. uh, things I want. Yeah, things I want. When I heard De- things I definitely. want, that's when I was like, okay, this is this <laughs> could be that that thing, right? I want to make an animatic for it really bad. So that yeah, like the final friends thing definitely connected. Uh, one of the other things that I thought was interesting uh, was that it's interesting to see one of these stories where um, both of the characters like start out as gay. Interesting. Like so many of the things that uh, yeah. that we why or or are openly gay too like love simon right or or simon versus homo sapien agenda he he was gay 
but, but he but closeted yeah right and so there was a whole secret about who they were and stuff and then aristotle and dante which is another one that kind of linked pretty similarly, but that was like an evolution of that of their relationship. They both die at the end was kind of an evolution of their relationship. Right. So there, this just, is a different thing in that, like, nope, I'm gay. I'm on Grinder. I'm looking for a date. Like, but, right, right from the get-go. Like, I honestly, thought that's kind of refreshing, actually. It it's is, kind of, it's, it's so a different refreshing. take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially for me, because it's like, all of the gay stuff has to be, I am tortured and sad because of... Yeah, that's exactly right. You got to spend like the first two acts getting to comfort with gayness. Just and give then me you, my gay you, content. You spend real three with gayness, right? So it was kind of interesting that you kind of right out of the gate, you're on Grinder looking for somebody. And right. they did the... I was reading his little notes that he sent out on Twitter. Not that they were little notes. Well, they were little notes because they, they were, were on Twitter. because they're on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, they were 140 character little notes. Not that they were diminutive. <laughs> uh but the uh, uh, when he was saying that like they they replicated the uh, oh. grinder notification sound they with sure the ukulele, did. It's, great. <laughs> it's, it's really accurate. Is it? I don't I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, it's, it's really accurate. Funny. You should not be on grinder. I am not on grinder. I saw it on a YouTube video. Dad, hashtag Mac does it. <laughs> that should be pretty funny. Oh, did Mac do it? Was for really, yeah. he did a video right. on grinder, and then the grinder sound was in that video, that's, and it's very accurate. That's funny. Um, yeah, so those those are my my big notes. Like at the beginning, like I've got stuff almost for every song, like little bits and pieces of kind of as we tear through it, uh, you know, so se- sequentially. Um, I think that's a that's a thing. So what, do you have do you have big notes? Yes. So I'm just thinking about any reason why I would want to be on Grinder whatsoever. There's none. Uh, lesbians. Mm-hmm. That's me. I right. can't be right. <laughs> legally. Well, not legally. I guess I wouldn't get arrested, but whatever. Um, okay. So first of all, I love all the characters in this musical so much. And it's just, it's so good. Um, it sounds really weird. The musical sounds really weird at first. And it, well, not super weird, mm-hmm. but it's a little hard to get the hang of at first. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's confusing, but then I just like absolutely fell in love with it. Yeah, it's almost like ragtime. Like, <laughs> I mean, like I saw one video where they kind of described it as like, you know, a folk band doing yeah. a gay comic book origin story. Isn't that great? Yeah, yeah, no, well, it's really honestly, good. But there's like some some real like ragtime and, and folky kind of stuff going on. Who yeah. would love a gay folk band yeah. doing a gay comic book origin story? And like my understanding great. is that they, uh, it's really just kind of the three of them on stage yes. all the time. Yes. And they're playing the instrument and they're singing and dancing and fight choreography yeah, like, apparently fight in, the, choreography. In, the, in, the, in the culture park thing. Um, and just three people. That's and it. The, just the three people. It started out as a one-man show. Yeah. And now it's a one-man, two-man, one-woman show. No. Three, three horn-born boys. <laughs> three <laughs> horn-born boys. Right. <laughs> two men in a truck. Yeah, right. um, it was, there's three people. There's not two men. And, uh, there are two boys and a gal. There's not... <laughs> One boy, two boys, and a gal. <laughs> the two boys chilling in a hot tub. <laughs> yeah, two bros chilling in a hot tub, zero feet apart because yeah. they're very gay. <laughs> they are. They are pretty gay. Oh uh, yeah. So there's a yeah. So it's a three person show, and they're kind of on stage. So it's not like a huge. It doesn't look like there's a huge like set pieces. Like yeah. they're sort of moving locations and building these huge things. There's some where they're kind of bringing in props because I yeah. saw one thing too where they said like we're the prop masters and we carry stuff and set it up on stage and we sing and there's like backgrounds that project and some of the, the still images that I saw. Yeah. Um. So it, it sounds like a really cool show. Like I would, I, I would actually, really I would actually love it. to see it. Okay. Go ahead. Those. Are. Okay. Um. I think. Okay. So my friend, I was texting them about it and I was like, "What do they want?" me to say mm-hmm. uh, and they want me to let you know that uh, every lesbian in the fandom is really gay for siren all of them oh interesting okay. all of them all right. is siren like by canon gay is it in game that that she's a, part, a she member of the lgbt a, community she does not have a canon sexuality but yeah, you know that's interesting kind of i didn't really think about her sexuality but yeah yeah so. all the lesbians love her all right cool. even though she's kind of a villain yeah. i mean kind of Every, a lot of coded lesbian characters are villains, which yeah. just led to every lesbian loving mm. villains all the time. So, <laughs> right. okay. Right. Backfired a little She's bit. She's a bad guy, so she must be gay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, right. it actually, but it like led to, that's the reason why I always loved villain characters is because all the villain characters are coded as gay and oops, <laughs> <laughs> attachment to those. Right. All right. Those Anyways, are- yeah, I have the rest organized by song. All right. Let's, let's talk about some songs. Yeah. All right, so the opening, we got Trevor's song. Yes. And uh, so this is just like, um, you know, I had the Who Is He Singing About, which we've already kind of talked right. about a little bit. It's like, intense. I didn't know if we knew who that was or something. No. Um, I like the, you know, are you, did you kiss me because I'm different? Yeah. Like, that's kind of a thing. And so, so was good. that, do you think that kiss me because I'm different was prior to the lizardness? No, because he became a lizard in like kindergarten. Uh, was he was he that young? Oh, no, I didn't he's he was a little. Long. He's um. Hold on, I have to play like the entirety of Recess in my head real fast. Yeah. Um, I thought no. they were like in sixth grade or in, something. 
Uh, maybe. He's yeah. in elementary school. Yeah, All yeah. of it's the same. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's the same. So you think he was already a lizard, and maybe the other person kissed him because he was a lizard, too. Or he yes. thinks the other person kissed him, because, which is a weird thing to think. <laughs> he like, that's, not my, that's not really my first thought. <laughs> See that lizard over there? Uh, <laughs> Scaly. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna kiss that lizard. Um, his ex is just a, a scaly, a hardcore scaly. I've always wanted to kiss a lizard, <laughs> and you look kind of like a lizard. So, fuck her up. Scalies, <laughs> right? In character. Yeah, that's really all I got for that one. Anyway, um, oh, is that all? Yeah. Okay, so this is the first instance of I'm just a boy who looks like a lizard. Yeah, and I sing that a lot. I'm just a boy looking at a girl. <laughs> Looks like a lizard. <laughs> yeah, right. It looks like a lizard. <laughs> um, but this is for since I sing this. I sang this a lot, and Cooper would kept getting really confused mm-hmm. when I, like, whenever I would say this because mm-hmm. he didn't understand it was from a musical. Yeah, yeah. Um, and even if he did, he didn't understand why there was a boy that looked like a lizard in a musical. Right. Now you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then one of my favorite lyrics is, "I write these songs. I sing these. I sing these hooks, which is yeah. really interesting. Yeah, yeah. And I like it because Trevor makes music mm-hmm. as a character and. That's just, it's one of my favorite things. I love it a lot. And yeah, the way it's so sung I, is really good. I tried to just grab at most one little clip from each song. I don't have clips from every song. But I, oh I, when we're doing music and stuff, I'm always really careful about how much we grab, right? Yeah. And so I, that's what I would have grabbed. Yay! Um, had I not grabbed. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't Oh, that's Fourth song. and Vine. That's right. I've already switched to Fourth and Vine. Fourth and Vine. Yeah. So I didn't actually grab anything from the first song. I'm just yeah. kidding. Um, wink. And then. Wink. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm glad you had fun. Um, this is the first instance of what does that remind me of? <laughs> um, it reminds you of the Ready Player One Ready audio Player book One. Yes. in which Will Wheaton Smiley goes. Smiley face. Wink. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> and for some reason, it didn't cross your mind that it's an emoticon in the book. Right. And it's not written out. <laughs> Wink. It should totally be written Wink, like in italics and maybe Wink. like Comic Sans. <laughs> Why coming? I don't know. No. Okay. Anyway. All right. <clears throat> All right. So that's Trevor's song. It's just his introduction. I'm, yeah. I'm hiding in my apartment. I've been here for a year. Because uh, I'm a lizard. And because well, because yeah, because I'm a lizard, and because somebody kissed me and he's broke a lizard my heart. And forty-five. He's forty-five tiny lizards in a trench coat. <laughs> that's exactly right. I almost said four one lizard forty-five tiny. Okay, now coats. I can do you fourth and vine. Yes, it's good. We used to live on Vine Street. Oh, you do leaking our information. We weren't on. Used to. We don't live there anymore. <laughs> oh, don't. Well, I guess. Don't Not this Vine people. Street. We didn't live in Seattle. That's exactly it's a different right. one. We lived on A Street called Vine Street. Yes, we yeah. were not fourth and well, not fourth and Vine. It was not fourth and Vine. No. Although if it was, that would be bomb. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Right. Bomb dot com. So what is what is this song about? Uh, this song is Carrie and Trevor meeting on Grinder, and Trevor actually wanting to, and Carrie offers. For Trevor to come and hang out with him. Yeah. Wink. Yeah. And um, right. Trevor wink. is unsure. And that's what Things I Want is about. Is, But we can keep doing wink um, <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to stop playing the wink thing. <laughs> okay. That's going on the permanent soundboard. Yeah. Wink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then it goes into Things I Want. All right. So, we're, is, okay, right, right, yeah, so they, they kind of have a quick chat on Grinder. Hey, do you want to come over and hang out? Wink. wink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Are you, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's, that's a really cool song. Uh, and since so things I want is what things I want is uh, and I want song and I found the writing process behind this really interesting um, because he said that um, every musical has sort of an I want song yeah. Yeah. And he started writing it as a joke right. just like literally things that right. Trevor wants yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it, he ended up falling in love with it and it got put in musical and it's one of my favorites yeah so this is a here's a, a inside scoop for people the people listening to the podcast so Presley's going to do an interview with uh, Jeremy Shada you can't in, say that in a, in, a, in a few weeks and she's been doing research for, for him right he's in a band called Make Out Monday Make Out Monday and okay. when he talks about the origin of the band name um, you get like oh it was we, it's like somebody tossed it out as a joke and then we kind of started liking it, and so it stuck, and we stayed with it. And that's like the origin story of like ninety percent of band names. Oh right? yeah, like, absolutely. Like somebody, it was a joke, and nobody came up with anything better. And then that's how you ended up with it. Yeah. So that's, no, that's the, like yeah. basically everything that I've ever named was a joke. Right. Like literally, <laughs> so, my book's that's, name. That's kind it of the thing with joke. like this song. Like I had a things I want. There needs to be a things I want song here, and so I'm just going to call it things I want as the placeholder, and then you never go back and change it <laughs> yeah. because it grows on you, and you decide right. that's what yeah. you want to keep. No, right? um, my book. I'm going to talk about my book for a second. My book's title was called Misspelled Spells because we kept misspelling everything, and mm-hmm. that stuck, and that's yeah. what it's called now. Yeah. So that's just how it is. Everything starts out as a joke, but it's and a really good song. One of the thing he wants. I want spontaneous journey, so good they feel planned. 
I really like that. Yeah. Isn't that's that a great, great? Line. Yeah, that's a really good that's line. That's so great. And it definitely very, 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 very Mateo. Very. It is a little Mateo. Right. Yeah. Like he wants to go out and do some cool spontaneous yeah. journeys. Yeah, yeah. So good. They feel bland. Mateo because they, from. But they're also from, they both die at the end, yeah, in yeah. case you haven't read that book, right. which you should. Please have tissues and eight fix-it fix. <laughs> I did. And when I started reading the fourth act, I had four fix-it fix, four of my favorite fix from different fandoms, a box of tissues, mm-hmm. and an apple. Yeah. And, a bunch, and I blasted music in my head. It was pretty rough. So yeah. That's how yeah, you yeah, end. Yeah. That's how you right. do it. That's right. All right. So he, he goes through a bunch of things he wants, right? Yeah. Um, and then I never want to be denied a terrible ride. I thought that was a great line. Ooh. That's a really, yeah. And of course it comes back and there's, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, the, the idea of I never want to, like I want the good and the bad, right? Terrible ride. I want to, <laughs> I want to sort of have, have both. And, and yeah, I don't want to be locked away and protected. And like if I stay here in my apartment all the time. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the terrible ride. But if I don't have the terrible ride, I don't have the great stuff either. And so I don't want to be denied a terrible ride, right? Which is another way of saying I don't want to miss out on the good stuff. Which is an interesting way to say I don't want to miss out on the good stuff. <laughs> right. To say I don't want to miss out on the bad stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm just gonna keep oh, raising my eyebrows. <laughs> I'm gonna wack on my eyebrows at you whenever something reminds me of they both die at the end. Okay. Um, All right. So also, I'm officially gonna call it TB date because that's way too long to say they both die at the TBD. end. TBD. All right. TB date. TB date. Yeah, oh, they TB both dad. die at yeah. the end. TBD. They both die. They both die. <laughs> <laughs> That's what TBD Isn't means TBD from now on. TBD some sort of like... <laughs> to be determined. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's like... It's just like something like methothelioma. Meth- it's like <laughs> Mesothelioma? <laughs> what? Oh my God. Where did that come from? Like a disease? The TBD disease? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You have a disease, but you don't know what it is yet? <laughs> to be determined. <laughs> yeah. Mesothelioma. But you or your loved if one may be if your doctor's to financial gi- compensation. If your doctor's giving you a TBD diagnosis, you, <laughs> no, you need to be concerned. It just sounds like some sort of disease. You should totally Anyways, be worried. The only reason I know mesothelioma is because, is because of that commercial. It's like, you are a loved one. Maybe entitled we'll, to financial compensation. We'll give it a name later. <laughs> <laughs> but you're sick. That's what Trevor has. That's exactly right. He has All right. TBD. Okay. Anyways. Things I want. Oh, you want to do Carrie's song? Not yet. No. Because I want to say, um, this song makes me oddly is sad like even though it's a really energetic and hot song it, it makes yeah. me sad because like, he's stuck in his house and he wants well, no, to do I mean, things that's always then, like the, the thing that makes me the saddest like in general when you're in in fiction and, in case and you want to make dad cry whatever, yeah if you want to make me sad if you want to make me cry like john green <laughs> then um all you have to do is like talk about like missed opportunities right like yeah. like the things that could have been if you had had decided earlier to get moving and like try things and engage and like you missed the chance to do these things because you wouldn't get off your ass and 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 take steps towards making it happen like that uh that makes me sad yeah it's sad it's a sad song i really like it though and then it's um Basically, what's happening in the song is it starts with him in his apartment being like i don't know if i want to go and it ends with him being on carrie's doorstep i can't believe he went like, yeah. I figured Carrie would have come over to his place. Yeah. No. Right. Well, yeah, I guess. Whatever. He went to Carrie's house. No, it's awesome. I think it's yeah, awesome think that he went. Awesome. Don't get me wrong. Like, he I think it's, house. it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. He's there now. Yeah. And then we've got Carrie's song. Do you have the clip? Uh, I have a clip from Carrie's song. Do you, you think you know which clip I have? I hope so. Because they're tall and lanky. <laughs> 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 this was a really funny moment for me. Like the first time I listened to this, it was super crazy. Because I was listening, and um, he said, "What's what's the is your finger bleeding? I don't know. It could be you're something <laughs> like a giraffe. You're goofy. Um, <laughs> like what's the actual word? You're, you're, you're clumsy. Like oh, you're tripping, giraffe. tripping like a baby giraffe. And then I was like, oh, that's super funny. And then he goes, oh, well, I can actually play it. Because they're tall and lanky. And I was like, well, damn it, now you ruined it because you got to explain a baby giraffe, right? And then I totally came back on the other side and went, oh, no, it's even funnier. Right? That he did that, right? So I went through this, like, gambit of emotions in this one song lyric where I was like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, that sucks. Oh, no, it is awesome. And I totally came back. It it brought brought me back. That's exactly right. It's such a good. The three acts of that line of of, of dialogue or or lyric from that song. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, He also goes, which is one of my favorite lines lines in the musical is he goes i'm awesome (laughs) and i'm great and i love him i love him a lot no that was a good one i yeah that's that's a cool so that is is carrie talking about why they should be together yeah why they should hang out yeah and then oh oh. wait this is the one where uh uh trevor's actually outside Mm -hmm. so trevor has left and he's sitting on the other side of the door like in the hallway yeah dramatic from, from carrie's apartment and carrie singing the song dramatic through the door fanfic stuff yeah, is this yeah, yeah. um it's great oh and then also so that's um, a nice visual too nice image right and then 
one of my favorite lines is close to the, to the end of the song is all I see is dust in the hallway ficus. Mm. That's so cool. <laughs> I like that line a lot. <laughs> I think it's rad. Well, there's a pretty long pause, but well, after dust. Well, right? <laughs> dust in the hallway ficus. I think that's great. Is he like looking through the peephole? <laughs> I think he opened the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like it better that he's kind of peeking through the people. And maybe Trevor's like sitting against the door so he can't see him. He just sees the hallway ficus. Right? Like that's a great that's a great middle image. I, I, would, I just assumed he opened the door. And then Trevor fell in because he was leaning against the door while he was sitting down. That's yeah, a pretty good one too. That's a pretty great. A yeah. uh, terrible ride, which is a yeah. bop. I almost covered this song, but I couldn't get the high note right. So, All right, so I've yet. got I've got this. Right. So there's, this is where I start like thinking, oh, they like they know each. There's some connection between them. Yeah. Like they know each other. They maybe she just senses the power. And like, had we found each other sooner, we could have done something, right? Like this whole idea of we both have these powers, and maybe we kind of felt like we were alone. Or yeah. you don't. You didn't. You don't even know you have powers yet. I think at this point, right? No. I think she sees it like before. <laughs> She just knows he looks like a lizard. <laughs> and so, oh, that kid must have superpowers. <laughs> he's wearing, he looks he's like a lizard. A cosplay. He's he's got green blotches. He's Clearly, got- we're equals, and we should do battle. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's so, how it is. I don't know what that, but like she recognized something, and like that, you were the one. And then there's a couple of I didn't grab all of them, but there were a couple of lines in I this song. Where it was like this, it was always you. Yeah, she also the, said, uh, crossed all the borders just to look for you. Yeah, just to look for you. Like, and I, so I don't know there if it is she was looking for him or she was looking for someone like him, someone else with powers. Right. I think she's probably aware of the group of kids with powers from recess. Right. And so she was probably looking for one of them and yeah, not yeah. specifically Trevor. Yeah. yeah. My, or just like, I have these powers that are must. So there's a, uh, there's a, I'm going to make another reference. Oh, boy. So there's this movie called Unbreakable. Mm-hmm. That's uh, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Bruce Willis. Um, it's uh, M. Night Shyamalan, I think, has yep. directed it. Uh, and so it's kind of this interesting thing where you've got Samuel L. Jackson as this guy, Mr. Glass, and he's super fragile. Mm. And so like he falls down the stairs and breaks like 30 bones God, and has to be in the hospital for forever. And, and like everything he does, he injures himself. So his car <laughs> is super padded. And so he starts having these thoughts that, oh, if there's somebody like me in the world, there must be an opposite of me, like someone who doesn't get hurt, like a superhero kind of thing, right? Yeah. And so he starts... Uh, like reading newspaper articles and like collecting information about like the natural disasters and plane crashes and train wrecks and stuff and looking for like there was a survivor and he's unharmed. Um, and so he finds Bruce Willis who lived the through this car Bruce accident. Willis. Right. Uh, and, uh, and so it's sort of like the same kind of thing. It's like a superhero origin story, mm. but in a very like pedestrian kind of way, you've just got this guy that gets hurt a lot. And so he starts thinking, Hey, maybe there's somebody who never gets hurt and, <laughs> and then, then we can out. be enemies. Oh, because, enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can be the bad guy to his good. Now that I have a reason to live because there's this superhero and I must be the supervillain because I get hurt all the time. I don't know how that works. But, You're right. That's uh, a bad idea. It's a, uh, it, it's a really cool kind of idea. And like that's a part yeah, no. of how I picture it's Siren. A, of a really... I, I'm alone. And Hancock, same thing, right? I'm alone because I'm, I'm the only opponent of my kind. I'm looking for someone else like me that I can connect with. Even if that connection is like doing battle and having Fight. this antagonistic relationship. Like they should have in Hancock. We, we, we have a we have a relationship, right? We, that I have somebody that I can connect with on a way like, it's like you and and freaking like YouTube and stuff, right? Like you have friends that, that don't do that kind of stuff and you can't connect with them in that way. And you have other friends that are, of course you do. I'm not saying you don't, but you have other friends that are, that are actors and friends that do YouTube and stuff that you can connect with in that kind of way. Like, I don't know. I think it's a super cool. And then we fight to the desk because we can understand each other. I might be bringing a lot of baggage (laughs) to to this conversation, (laughs) right? To this interpretation, right? But, uh, Um, but yeah, I like the idea, like of all these things, that, that I've seen before that there's something going on. I love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this song is just a, a bop. It's, it's really, it's bop. it's really good. Yeah, it's, it's really good. and it it is her terrible ride that she didn't miss out on, right? Yeah. But and she's not super happy about that <laughs> at right. this point, right? But she's been looking and she's, I, I think, I like seeing him. And, and I talk about this in one of the other songs too. But it just kind of unlocks something in her. Like she's been living this relatively mundane, like like the Hancock kind of maybe not yeah. as bad as Hancock, <laughs> right. but she's been living like this sort of mundane life she's while knowing it. that she has these superpowers yeah. and she's not using them. And then she sees him and she's like, oh my god, here's all this stuff I should have done with my life. He looks like a lizard. I need to oh kick boy. that guy's ass, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. Gotta yeah. fight. One second. Yeah, I have to adjust my headphones. Glurp. Okay. Um, All right, can we do a recess? Yes. All right. Let me, I got, here's my hot take. Oh, boy. This oh, is, your hot take. This is my hot take comes from recess. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. This is the the five kids. Okay. Oh so gosh. there were six kids. 
Yes. He he's looking at the other five kids. Yes. And he says, "Her neck, his eyes, and all of you." So only her neck has powers. Uh, her voice. Ooh. Her neck. That's a hot take. His eyes. So there's like a cyclops. Not like a cyclops, but like an X Men cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> he turned into a cyclops. And <laughs> no, like that's Siren. Oh, heck. that's my hot take. That's is a that's, good hot is take. Is that Siren? Because um, wherever the blood hit people, they got powers. That's such. And a he hot got take. covered in blood, so he may be the most powerful or have the most powers or something. But when he I was listening to it powers. to kind of pull the the clips together, I heard her neck. And I was like, oh, that's well, what your if? That's vocal cords are. But yeah, like, that's where I keep my vocal cords. <laughs> the, um, like, what if, like, where the blood hit you is what gave you your powers? And so, so, rad. so she has siren, the power of a siren because she, her voice, her throat got it. That's um, so rad. And then that other kid is somewhere with, so like, maybe there's a sequel somewhere with the, other, the other superpower kids. The guy that has x-ray vision or he shoots X-Men. laser beams out it's of his, just X-Men. Yeah, it's X-Men. Or he's a cyclops. <laughs> And he fights Hercules over a, a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that your knowledge of Cyclops? <laughs> Maybe. So that's my hot take. That's my official. I, I official just thought of this take. like 10 minutes ago, or I guess probably not 10 minutes ago because we were doing the <laughs> podcast 10 minutes ago. But like an hour ago while I was pulling sound clips, I was that's like, her what neck. What do you think? I think that's a great, let me, let me have it, let me have it. Valid hot take and actually probably canon, except uh, we're all dumb and we didn't get that. So so I thought when you said a second ago, uh, she knew about the kids. She was a kid. That, that you might've, that this may be common knowledge that like she, she, everybody knows she was one of the kids. I mean, maybe they do and I'm just dumb, but like, Uh, I don't know. So I think she may have been one of the kids. And I was wondering, like, there may be a whole other thing too, where the soldiers took the head, like, were they taking it to make super soldiers and were they going to use the blood to do superpowers? I definitely thought you were going to say soup. (laughs) <laughs> the dragon head soup. Yeah. 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 No, it not, not soup. It was a giant lizard. Not soup. All right. Let's let's wrap up uh, uh, recess. Kazoo. Kazoo. So there's this band Kazoo. in uh, in a little known. I, a little, they're, they're, I don't know. They're relevant. So there's the guy. There's there's a guy named Guy. Oh. <laughs> in, Sorry. Guy Fieri. No, not Guy Fieri. Guy Forsyth uh, Guy in Fieri. in Austin, Texas, and he plays music in Austin. He's got albums and stuff, and he tours and stuff, and he's. He's one of those people that, like, if you see him live, it's unbelievable. Like, mm-hmm. life-changing, almost, how powerful a performance this guy puts right. on. And his albums don't quite convey how awesome he is live. Mm-hmm. And so it's really never taken off kind of an album form uh, of, of what he does. But you see him live, and it's just it's ridiculously amazing. And he, you know, he plays harmonica. He sings through a... a, a he actually sings through a harmonica. He sings through a, a bullhorn. He does... Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, like a blues, reggae... And reggae, reggae. <laughs> reggae, ragtime, a blues <laughs> ragtime kind of thing that he does. That's just outstanding. And I swear he has a song. They play kazoo a lot. So he's got a side band or used to at least had a side band called the Asylum Street Spankers. And uh, they had mm-hmm. like a washboard guy and uh, uh, they were just awesome. Like they're super yes. fun songs. And I swear they have a song that sounds exactly like this with a really? kazoo and everything. Yeah, I actually started looking for it today to see if I could pull a clip from it. Uh, I'll, I will find it and play it for you. But if you get a chance, listen to Guy Forsyth for blues and the Asylum Street Spankers for more like ragtime kind of yeah. stuff. They're really I'm awesome. I'm sad because I don't have my kazoo anymore. Yeah. I don't know where it is. I think we probably mm. got rid of it in the move. Yeah, we'll have to find one. I missed my kazoo. It was Turn orange. Neck, his eyes and all. See, I like it. Yeah, it's, it's a take. It's, it's a, a legit, take. It's a legit okay. interpretation. Anyways, what's happening in this song is that they don't magically teleport back to when he was in kindergarten. This is mm. Carrie asks, why the heck do you look like a lizard? Right. And Trevor tells him his tragic backstory. Right. Because he's a level 10 friend. Yeah. So yeah, so that's what happened. And now it's time for uh, another oh, wait, movie. Wait, wait, wait. Right. Oh, it's hey. a mid-roll. Mid-roll. It's time for some housekeeping. Or like not just housekeeping, but we have an email. We we owe an apology to, I'm to sorry. RJ. We didn't read RJ's email last time. I didn't have the email uh, pulled up in front of me and ready to go last time. Um, and so RJ sent us another email about because Bill and Ted was definitely because of RJ, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I knew I wanted you to watch it, but 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 RJ's been been asking us to watch it for a while, so we did. So he he came back and said that the uh, he got a new I got a new email from him saying that the travel paradox, where an object has no real origin, remember I was talking about the yeah. guitars, like yeah. they took the guitar out of the museum and did the whole cycle, uh, is called a bootstrap paradox, which totally makes sense because bootstrapping in uh, like data and analytics, 
which is part of what I do for a living. Interesting. Um, you, if like you're trying that. to build something that's like a prediction engine, right? Yeah. Like, hey, I want to recommend movies to you on Netflix. That's, mm-hmm. that's, the, that's the example everybody gives when right. you talk about this stuff. But like when you're a new user and I don't know anything about you, how do I make recommend, recommendations to you before mm-hmm. you've rated a bunch of movies? That's called a bootstraps problem because I don't have enough data yet to, yeah. to make it. So I have to say, oh, this person I think is probably a little bit like you. And so I will make recommendations based on a couple of things that I know about you or something. Mm-hmm. Like whatever. You do. You use some other data pool yeah. or, or just canned of, recommendations to do those kinds of things. A that's, that's a bootstrap things problem. Things like that have you select movies you like off of a list mm. and i know that because like, I, I was trying to find something like poly for well yeah but that's building up the data i'm just sort of like what do you yeah. do before you that's one way to solve the bootstraps problem is yeah. that you collect data like yeah, you, you force collect, data. collect data right but Got if you it. if you can't get the data early on like one of the things we were doing when i was doing schools like predicting which students are going to fail and stuff if a new institution came on like it takes a whole semester for me to know how your students are doing in class and what their behavior patterns are. And Mm -hmm. so how can I predict risk before at least that first semester is over? Or if I'm predicting graduation rates, that can take like four years, right. To follow people all the way through it. So there's bootstraps problems that exist in that space. That's a, that's a whole, that's a, that's a a day job. Interesting. Uh, Okay. So he says also, you definitely need to watch bogus journey, which is Bill and Ted two. Yes. Um, because they, (laughs) because they die. So they keep keep, in keeping with our theme and (laughs) they die. Yeah. And and not being spoilery at all. Everyone dying. Uh, and Missy marries Ted's dad. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then the bad guy who hates the future. I don't, I don't remember that. Okay. I thought the bad guy in that one was actually death. Um, like the Grim Reaper because they die and then they're, trying to, they're trying to come back. Rabbits, right? They're trying to come back from, from the afterworld or something. Okay. I don't remember. Uh, and Whatever. then he <laughs> says that Biodome was actually supposed to be connected to Bill and Ted, but they dropped it. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> it's uh, amazing. It's probably a good, good decision on both parts. And Encino Man is a Goofy Caveman movie. Did we talk about Encino Man? No. I thought we did. We talk, about, we talk about it because we're close to Encino. Every time we talk about Encino, we talk about Encino Man, which is Mommy's <laughs> favorite movie. I like guess it's a top five movie of Mommy's uh, with uh, Brendan Fraser. And, oh, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah oh as boy, a caveman. It's, it's uh, Polly Shore, who you don't know, and Brendan Fraser, who you also don't know. Um, but Polly Shore is like a, a Valley Kid kind of thing. Oh boy, like a new California Valley, Valley Kid 2.0 sort of. And he's out at exploring, and he digs up an Iceman in Encino, I think. And they thaw oh. him out, and he wakes up. And so you've got a caveman. Just like how real cave, life works. Caveman Brendan Fraser running around Encino. It's, that's what I remember about it. Uh, and he says, by the way, Land of the Lost was great. Um, wow. Which I assume by by that I assume he means the Brendan Fraser movie, which yeah. is new, and not the like seventies seventies TV show, which was awesome. <laughs> the Slee Stacks are one of my favorite say. things that has ever been on television. And then the there was something really weird about the T Rex's mouth. It was kind of like a puppet mouth. Like when he opened his mouth, it was all just like flat inside. There was oh. no like depth or anything to it, and that was kind of freaked me out for some reason. <laughs> like the T Rex's mouth, I remember to this day. It's and the spooky. Slee Stacks and and Chaka Chaka Chaka, whatever the hell that kid's name was, uh, the little furry <laughs> little furry kid <laughs> ran what around. The heck? What show? <laughs> what? There's a T Rex and there's He was a supposed furry. to be like a caveman or something. I don't remember what Chaka oh was, but okay. he was pretty. Mommy probably thought that he was their pet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just like based on her Star Wars experience. Okay. Also, you still haven't watched Bill and Ted's Homosexual Adventure, which no, is not. my And I will not. Yeah. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> not. It's a tune. It's a song, and it's so funny. Like, it's not good. Yeah. It's so bad that I love it, and it's funny. That's funny. It's so funny. I love it. No, so uh, thank you, RJ. Sorry we, missed you. You. we missed you last week. I'm yeah. sorry. So RJ is kind of, uh, you know, our dance thoughts. Yeah, right? <laughs> we sort of Dan. we missed the dance thought Do segment we need a last theme week. Tune? We yeah, yeah, RJ, if you want to mix a theme song <laughs> that we can play before we read your emails, we'll totally play it. Yeah, absolutely. We would, we would totally Somehow. do that. <laughs> if you're up to doing that, so if you also want to send us an email and make a theme tune, make for it, it and make your own we theme will song, play it. you can email us at <laughs> validate me podcast at gmail dot com. Or you can send us a tweet at Validate Me Cast on Twitter. At Validate Me Cast. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something different here. So since we're talking about sending us an email and, and, and a tweet, and or a tweet, Dan and or Phil. Um, <laughs> who, who did I and or the other day? Um, Bill and Ted. Oh, Bill and or Ted. Yeah. <laughs> so um, if, you, uh, if you want to send us an email or a tweet, you can talk to us about Lizard Boy. If you've listened to the soundtrack or you know anything about it or, or for God's sakes, if you saw it live, oh that would God, be fantastic tell to tell it. us about it. Um, or if you want to uh, give us some advanced stuff on what we're going to do next week, which is my assignment to Presley, which is going to be oh. Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Ooh, we're going to stay in that sort of musical theater genre. 
um, and uh, and and the gay genre. Hell yeah! And uh, yeah, so this one's a little risque. I, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't throw that uh, out lightly, but this one is a little risque for sure. So you Ooh, may want to uh, you know be careful and, and choose carefully if you want to join us on this adventure. It is one of my favorite movies. Like I really love it. I think it's phenomenal. We saw the musical, and the musical was pretty good. Um, yeah, there's been a lot to it, but like the the performance of this main guy that that does it, uh, Dave Ridd something Cameron. I can't remember his name. I'll, I'll know his name by. I'll know. <laughs> it's, is it I'll, David Cameron? No, it's not. No, it's not. I will know his name by the time we, we look back okay. around and do the. And, and, and I don't do know the, who David Cameron. Do our head in the Angry Inch I just podcast? Know David Cameron's name. The uh, yeah, he's the he's like the British Prime Minister. That <laughs> was in Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Um, no. So the. Uh, <laughs> I don't it's really phenomenal. So if you want to like watch that and send us some notes so that like we'll read notes about what we're talking about next week, that would be awesome. Or if you want to uh, give us some stuff about Lizard Boy or anything that we've done in the past. Or like I said, make recommendations. But yeah, send us send us an email, validate me podcast at gmail.com yeah. and you or can at still, validate me cast on Twitter. I'm going to make it clear that you can still send takes about past things that we've done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I thought I just said that. You did. But yeah. I'm going to make it extra clear. <laughs> You're reiterating. Because I was zoning out a little bit. Right on. Um, but yeah, send us stuff about past things and we can give you more takes about them probably. Good time. All right, let's. Uh, oh, that, that didn't That's work. Not- oh my goodness, <laughs> I was on. I was on my email side. I wasn't on the thing. <laughs> there we go. All right, Hell we're yeah. back, and we're back. Okay, let's talk about. So what um, are we on now? I think another part of me. Are we? Yes. Yeah, it resets. Yeah, another part of me. Yep. Uh, okay. Shout out to my friend who needs to eat. Go eat. Oh, you know what I love about this one? What? Um. So this was uh it's like a- this. So this was very Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Ooh. This is one of the reasons that we're doing Hedwig and the Angry Inch next time. In addition to, I've been meaning to assign it to you for a long time. Uh, this story of like completing each other. Mm-hmm. It, this very much what Hedwig and the Angry Inch is about. Like two that's people good. that sort of become they're two halves of the same entity. Like that's very much what this story like is, is about. And there's a really cool Can animation and song a song about it, which is really fantastic. You know, it, there's a Greek myth. They talk about the Greek myth <gasps> in the they in do? Hedwig. Yes, they do. Yay! Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They do. They even do an animatic. Wow. Of the, of the Greek myth. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I'm glad about that. Yeah, yeah. So I thought that was super cool in this one. Um, again, like she's talking about how he can help her in some way. So that, that story is kind of developing. And what I love about this one is that it's like uh, it's Trevor singing to both Carrie and Siren. Yeah. And like the lyrics sort of work for both of them, like how they can connect to each other and help each other and, and, and fit to like, it's, it's sort of the way Siren views Trevor is the way Trevor views Carrie Carrie. and like this weird triangle kind of thing is happening and the lyrics work in these like one way flows, but not necessarily the other way. And like, it's really cool. Like this really complex relationship that they're, that they're putting, I would love to see this performed because yes. I would love to see how they interact with each other during this performance. So that that's my that's my take on this one. I loved it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I love it. It's just really calm and nice to listen to. Yeah. I just think it's a really good song and it's gay. So yeah. I uh, it's it. it's yeah. It's it's it. The complexity of the relationships yeah. developed in this it's song fantastic. is super cool. Yeah. Loved it. It's fantastic. Okay. Right. Myth to live by. Myth to live by. Um, this song has all three kids, uh, and they're all singing, and I think that's pretty rad. Yeah. Um, there's all of them. I love this. Um, and then it says one of the clips or not clips. I don't know if this is a look. Uh, one of the things that stood out to me is I've been squeezing the meaning out of one single word, try, which yeah. is super cheesy, but I right. love it a yeah. lot. No, it's really good. I, I almost grabbed really that, good. but I ended up not grabbing it. Yeah. And then they all sing try at the same time. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Um, I really like this song. It has a really good message. It's just great. Also a tune and bop. Right. And so this is her finally being like, okay, I'm done. Yep. Right. I, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm, I'm done with the, with the mundane life. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to live the life I'm supposed to live. Yeah. Even if I, even I'm if it's going to be a myth to live by. Yeah. Even if it's not great, like I'm going to live by my own myth yeah. and, and put it together. That's I, I so love it. Agreed. Agreed. I love it. So rad. All right. The woe song. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this further to me, like develops the parallels between what Trevor is doing to Siren is what Carrie is doing to Trevor. Right. But in a more like healthy way, potentially. Um, and so I think that's kind of a really interesting connection, the, the way that those things kind of flow back and forth. And this really kind of digs into that. And I love, like, in the same way that it, the uh, the Things I Want song, the Woe song is pretty funny. Like, if you're going to go it. with it, you might as well just go with it, right? right. Okay, we got to have a song where we do a bunch of woes. Let's do what are we going to call it. Yeah, I really yeah. like the lyrics to the song. I do too. They're good. Do you, you have, do you have a favorite lyric? I actually don't have a clip from this one. <gasps> we should have got one of the woe. Oh, my favorite one yeah. is woe. Yeah, I should have done one of the woes. Okay, yeah. lyric. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here's I Might Stay, which is just me. The lyrics, the notes are just me screaming. One of them is literally gross gay sobbing. <sighs> yeah, okay, wait. Like, all right, so this is really short, right? And, so and, and and Siren comes in at the end and like woos Trevor. Um, but so Carrie 
says something to Trevor. I just read this from the tweet. Yes. Carrie says something to Trevor. Trevor misunderstood it and got pissed off. And yeah. then Siren comes in and like woos him with her woos. Whoa. <laughs> her, her woes. Uh. Um, what, what did he say? Like, was it in the lyrics no. or was it a conversation that I happened think, on stage? I think it was a conversation that Because I didn't see something in the lyrics that I was like, oh, okay, well, clearly that makes sense why he would get all pissed off. I don't yeah. know what he missed. I don't, I don't know what the misunderstanding saw. was. Okay. I don't think we see what Do you know? Have you heard no. from people that saw the performance what the misunderstanding I, I was? Okay. That, that was one of the things I didn't understand what it was. Um, um, and then, yeah, that's that's was the, that was the big thing for it's this. It's sad. Yeah. Uh, Lizard Boy, character development song. Character this is a character development song. This is a lot of character development. I like that the first song in the musical... We were so we were in the car. I don't remember where we were. We were driving over to like Hollywood to see a movie or something, and so we were listening. Oh, we were going to one of places acting classes, maybe. And we're like driving and listening to this. This is the first time I'm listening. I'm finishing the soundtrack in the car while I'm driving with Presley, and so I look at Presley and I'm like, "Did he just say I can't have a different nose?" Did. <laughs> like, did I understand that lyric you want correctly? To tell that story? No, you tell the story because okay, this, so this is worth telling. Is at some point early in the musical, when Carrie and Trevor are in Carrie's room together, yeah. um, Carrie tells the story about how he split a deviated septum. Deviated septum. He deviated is what you told septum. me, at least. Yeah. Yes, he got a deviated septum uh, with a. I think a sledding or snowboarding accident. Snow sport. I don't <laughs> okay. have the, I don't have right. that story in front yeah. of me. Yeah, yeah, no I was worries. expecting you to say it. Okay. But uh, he basically he deviated his septum and his family wanted him to get a nose job, mm. but he couldn't imagine his face without his nose the way it was. Mm. And so that's a throwback to what mm. Carrie said mm. about his nose, and right. it's a metaphor. So I'm curious here if, like, is he saying, um, like, you're not you don't you're not gonna like me because I can't have a different nose? Or is he more accepting himself? Like I think there's he's there's a big himself. like there's a big transformation that kinda happened through this song, right? Of him like moving towards being more accepting and figuring that was out. A like metaphor. I can't I can't figure out if he's saying to Carrie, Look, you know, I, I'm never gonna have a different nose and so maybe we're not meant to be because I can't I can't change who I am. I think to that be, was to be with you. Supposed to be him accepting himself for not being able to change the fact that he is a lizard. <laughs> he looks like a lizard. He looks like a lizard. He is a lizard. Yeah. In my heart, he's a lizard. I will refer to him as a lizard. Right. Um, so I think, like he's like accepting his powers and sort of coming into himself and stuff like that. Like I think it's really interesting. Yeah. And, and like knowing the history of that lyric is pretty good. Cool. It, 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 it's it makes me more want to actually see it performed so right? I can pick up on all those side things that, that uh, we're just we're probably missing so many things right? because we I don't probably, know that dialogue. I will yeah. definitely cry when I see this performed. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to cry right now because I love this <laughs> right. musical so much. Right. Um all right, where are we going? Sculpture we're going park. sculpture park. Okay. Gay sobbing. Part two. The second wink. one. Wink. This is a wink. less enthusiastic wink. 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 Wink, it's wink, like him going, wink, wink, wink. Okay, um, so we've got wink, which is him. Which I is should him. totally have the. I should have all my winks on here, like yeah. like good mornings, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. well, every time someone says someone <laughs> oh, says wink so out loud, soundboard of winks. When do people say wink right, out loud? Okay. Ever? So again, this is just from reading the tweet because I wouldn't have gotten this listening to the thing. Mm. But so that was Siren, yes, on Don't. Carrie's phone, grinding. <laughs> No. Is, is that the verb? No one for messaging okay, someone on listen, Grindr. No one makes up <laughs> verbs for messaging or you, for using websites. Tumbling is not a no, tumbling. Okay, tumbling. it's not a thing. Tweeting? Tweeting is the only one. Yeah. Like there's no gramming. Uh-huh. That's not a thing. So she ground him. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> Impersonating Carrie and she is, messaged him over Grinder. Is this wink? I know it's Siren. Yeah, and it's it's a lesson. Is he winking at me? Yeah, he's winking at you. He's not winking at her. He, did he send her you. a wink emoji, or is he giving me like a wink and saying, <laughs> he "Hey, I know her. it's Siren." He sent her a wink emoji to make her think that he thinks it's Carrie. Because <laughs> they wink at each other. I thought no. he was winking at me and going like fourth wall, like wink, wink. like I know what's <laughs> up. Said it out like loud. I know you think she's tricking me into coming and doing battle and stuff, but wink, like I know what's happening. That's what yeah. I. Re- I'm staying with that because okay. I like it better. Good theory. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. Wink. Okay. How many times can I play it? <laughs> no more. No more. No more. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is turning into when Steve plays all of the sounds at once. Wink, 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 wink. This is what purgatory sounds like. <laughs> so, yeah, the wink, not the winks. I played the wink. Right. <laughs> you did it. Great. Yeah. Um, Take me to so bed. I no. Like, wait, no, not yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Not yet. Please. I like how, okay, so when I listen, since I've listened to this musical so many times, I can mm. tell that Carrie's just a little off. And that's always but the But that wasn't scariest. Carrie. I, I know. And I know. And that's how I knew it wasn't Carrie, because yeah. he's acting just a little teeny bit off. When I listen to the song, like, at the eighth time. Yeah, yeah. Um, He's just a little bit. Oh, off. it's a little off for Carrie. Yes. I thought you were saying Carrie is <laughs> off in general. And because this wasn't off, Carrie's I knew. Out of like, this sounded like, like logical and consistent. <laughs> and so I knew it wasn't Carrie because Carrie's a little off. No. Right. No, it no, was no, a little no, too no, well no. written to have been Carrie. No. Because he doesn't do that. Stop insulting my son. <laughs> um, <laughs> so he, yeah, so this is just a little not like Carrie. And that's always the scariest thing. But like, thing. Trump tweets. <laughs> Like somebody built an AI, like oh, you can't tell the difference. Bot that uh, no, 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 no. Okay. You're you're not listening. To oh, you're you're, 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 was... you're understanding something I haven't said. <laughs> okay, uh, they built a bot that determines whether a tweet was written by Trump or not. Oh, and it's based on how coherent it is <laughs> and how like it well, uses these I rules. You were talking about like what device bot. it was written on and like the language and syntax and kind of stuff. But it's it it, it seems yeah, to be pretty uh, accurate in determining whether he wrote them or not. Bot. That tweets that, ask Trump? Yeah, pretends yeah. to make Trump's tweets, and I cannot tell the difference anymore. <laughs> right. Yeah. I can't tell the difference between Drill making fun of Trump and yeah. Trump actually saying a tweet. Yeah. yeah. I can't. Anyways. Okay, that was so a you tangent. could, you could, you could, if you listen to it enough, you can tell. If you listen tell. to it like 80 times in yeah. a row, you can tell. Yeah. And that's always the scariest thing for me, and it happens in a lot of like horror stuff. Right. When someone, <clears throat> Danian, is just a little bit, I'm going to throw that out there in case any of you are keeping up with mm. The Sun Vanished, mm -hmm. uh, just acting a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Okay. And like just a little off, and it's, it always scares me a lot because that is that's just something that scares me is like I know my friends well enough to know when they're being a little bit off. I mean, not that they're possessed or anything, yeah, it's yeah, like when they're sad. Right, right. And so that frightens me so much because uh, there's this good thing I was reading the other day about how like that's not so there's <laughs> I'm not going to go on that tangent, but um, that's not blank anymore where something like slowly gets oh, yeah, more sure, 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 sure. off yeah, yeah, until yeah, yeah. you can tell it, recognize it as not the source material. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. N not, cool. not my blank. <laughs> Hashtag not my blank. Not anymore. Yeah, right. Same thing. Same thing. No. Same, same sentiment. If it's a different, I'll fight you. It has changed. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Let's do Take Me to Bed. I like oh, this one. I love this one. This yeah. one I really love... Um, I don't, apparently I didn't write very many notes, but uh, I wrote zoom, zoom, there he goes, because this is him rushing to go save Carrie. Yeah, no, that's really cool, like building up, and then they, I think this is the one too where they first kind of stack some of the, like, Lizard Boy Run stuff yeah. on top of, Lizard like, Boy some of the Run. other songs are kind of all coming running. back together and stuff, like, it's really cool, he may be flying. Yeah, maybe flying. I don't know. We can't tell. Can he fly? He's flying, know. does he, he have can that power? fly. He can fly, yeah, so he's probably flying. He's flying. But there he goes, the, uh, probably not literally. So, I love... So the backstory behind this one, I love this. The idea of, like, it's take me to bed, but it's like take me to bed and tell me a story. Yeah. So, like, tuck me in, kind of take me to bed Not instead of, like, the... fast asleep. Yeah, like, it's kind of cool. Like, it's less... Yeah, like, it's it seems like a very sexual thing at first, but then it's, like, tell me a story with, like, myths and monsters and get out the monster. Like, it's really kind of cool. It's cool. It's a cool song. And then, uh, so, we're again, reading the tweets when he's talking about every song... He says that uh, this was part of a competition yes. that he had to write like a really quick thing, scene or something. Mm -hmm. And the theme was bedtime stories. Yeah. Right? Isn't and that so, rad? So it reminded me of the bedtime stories movie, which is actually the Adam Sandler movie, which is actually really good. If you haven't seen it, it's actually worth the watching. The Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, yeah. The Adam Sandler bedtime. You, you saw it along. You loved it. Was it you. the one with the hamsters and the gumballs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You loved that, that one. Movie. You totally loved that one. <laughs> Uh, but it also reminded me of, uh, there's this guy that I'll find the link to it and we'll put it on the, on the YouTube video in the doobly-doo if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, Are they guinea pigs? No guinea pigs. He, oh, <laughs> very <laughs> dangerous cat activity. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So, uh, uh, it's okay. Um, so I was thinking about the, uh, this guy, he, he did kind of the same thing where him and his buddies would write songs. They would give each other a theme or like uh -huh. a word and he had to write one and the word was sewing machine. And so he wrote this crazy song about this like evil old man that lives in the woods and he kidnaps kids and sews them to the wall and oh, stuff. Oh, that's pleasant. And uh, with his sewing machine, but it's, it's, it's brilliant. Like it's so good. I can't remember his name, Steve something. I can't I remember his name now. now. He co-wrote like one of Jules' big hits. I don't know, oh, but it's, it's really good. Yeah. This is something I started saying and I didn't know where from. Yep. Oh, curious. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, this curious reminds me. Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> it reminds me a lot 
of Jack Conte, who I love the music of. Mm. He shares a birthday with me, so that's pretty rad. Uh-huh. Uh, and so a lot of his songs, like one of my favorites, there's Bloody Nor, Bloody Nors, <laughs> Bloody Nose, Kitchen Fork, mm-hmm. just like stuff like that. Oh, right. re- yeah. Regular household yeah, yeah. objects. And yeah. he shares. He makes these stores out of like um, Kitchen Fork. Is tear her heart out with the Kitchen Fork, right. and that's cool. Yeah, so the sewing machine thing is really cool. And, like, this idea of, oh, I've just got a theme and I've got to write a scene, and then that finds its way into this musical yeah. kind of thing. Like, it, that's awesome. I love that, that as a story. Rad? And I think, I think I've got, yeah, I do have one. So this is one I really love for this, too. Okay. Um, this, this uh, like, language transition. Oh, so, it ended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I thought it was kind of. A, I thought you might go there. It was. Uh, I think it's interesting that he said he called him a pawn, yeah. and she called him a king. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like what's They're the two kings? They're gay. <laughs> what's the? Uh, what's the? Yeah, what's the status there? Like, give up the pawn, and well, she no, says, "I'm the, I'm the queen, and I've got your metaphor. king." Metaphor. Well, I know, but like, yeah, she's I've playing off of the metaphor. Pawn. She's playing off the metaphor. I know someone meta- named right. pawn, but calling like him a pawn. Mm-hmm is an interesting thing that she almost right? sort of corrects him and says, no, he's your king, right? You're She's like, not wrong. But, no, no, not at all. Not at all. Like, I, I just think it's a clever, like, wrong. turn of phrase, it's right? So cool. Like, he is using the pawn as, like, you're using him against me, and yeah. then she takes that and turns it and comes back with the he's king like, thing. no, you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like gay people. I like gay people. <laughs> so the, uh, yeah, no, I think it's, I, I liked that. I, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying I actually kind of like it. Like, it's clever it's writing. Cool. It's, it's, really it's, it's very clever writing. Well, I thought you were saying that Trevor only viewed Carrie as a pawn and not as a king, and I was about to be mad about that. No, 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 no. no, no, no. That's not what you're saying. No, not, yeah, not, but she's sort of implying that, right? Like, she's trying to get his goat, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> And what in the now? process of trying to get his goat, she uh, she she pokes and be like, "Oh, you're calling him a pawn? Oh, that uh, how how embarrassing for you! I thought he was your king. Like it, that's kind of a good goat. taunt." <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about goats so much today. Goat. I'm gonna, I, instead of talking about lost today, I want to talk about goats. Oh, we don't have a lost. Well, I don't think we've yet. made a lost reference yet. Oh, but yeah. we got to do yeah. that at some yeah, point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, We're gonna go. Fight. Oh, the fight! Oh, the fight! I don't know. It's a musical, and I didn't see <laughs> it happen. And, and it's an instrumental, instrumental. A musical. It's an <laughs> it's instrumental a musical, and I didn't see it happen. And I read that they do like lots of cool fight choreography yes, and play yes, and stuff, yes, but yes, I don't yes, know what it looks right. like, so I can't um, say anything about it. It sounds okay. awesome. I'd love to see it. I'm gonna. I love the part where the piano drops. Mm, yeah. And so like. It's, oh yeah, yeah. It's like da 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 da, and then it goes boom, yeah. and it's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> and I, I love that. I, I would love to see it. And then at the end of the song, we get Trevor singing the siren song because Siren yeah. died, and then yeah, he yeah. got her powers right. for some reason. Right. Um. And so Highlander. Highlander. Yeah. And it's really cool. It's rad. Yeah. I like this song a lot. I I listen to this song when I'm being dramatic when I'm writing. <laughs> nice. It's really good. Um. All right, I was going to call you. Oh, I liked uh, Catch Me Crying. Well, so this is sad, yeah, because this is oh, you're dead, and and I was going to call you tomorrow. Like I was getting, I was going, I was getting around to it. Um, <laughs> the uh, I guess, I guess not. Catch me crying in the club. It was sad. No, it was sad. Uh, but I thought it was cool when he said yeah, he came in for a rocky landing after watching uh, uh, Hitchcock, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hancock, not Hitchcock. Hey. Hancock. Wait, is after, it not Hitchcock? After Whatever. watching Hancock, Hancock. Yeah, when, like his that whole, movie. like he had to learn how to not come in for a rocky it's a landing. Movie about Alfred Hitchcock. I thought that was an interesting parallel, right? Uh, uh, and then the whole part of one whole thing comes back, and Hedwig is definitely gonna 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 play on that a ton. But yeah, it's it's sad. He died. Sometimes he died. Sometimes, yeah. And only some of the productions. Some of the productions, it was a close encounter. And then this song is still sung, but it's Trevor thinking that Carrie's dead. And so... Uh, and then he goes... <gasps> <gasps> yeah. <the> lost. <laughs> <laughs> I shot a kid. <laughs> I shot a kid. Yeah. All right, we got our last reference again. Um, <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's like a deep lost reference, though, because that's going through, <laughs> like, die hard to a lost podcast. No, that was McElroy's. Right? <laughs> oh, was it McElroy's? No, 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 no. That was... Yes, it was. was it? Yes, it was in Adventure Zone. Oh. Oh, it totally was. Well, how is that a Lost reference then? No, it wasn't. I said the dramatic gasping is something that reminds me of Lost. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. I'm there. Sorry. I thought you were saying I shot a kid and somehow has become a Lost reference. I don't know. All right. So then uh, we go to uh, don't Wait, know where to go. I know. Oh, I can connect it. Yeah. Okay. And unless he was a police officer and like a shot no. a kid was also a police officer. <laughs> she did shoot a kid. I did it. She shot a kid. <laughs> uh, well, she shot a kid. Uh, Stop spoiling Lost on so this the, podcast. Uh, so I don't know where to go. Oh, this is the one. This, this is it's my favorite lyric that we canon. were talking about in the uh, in the car when he says, "Let's see if I'm on the right screen." There was a moment I felt pretty close to you. I love you. 
All right, so this is this is this is my hot take on this one. When we were talking about in the car, right? Because he says pretty. There was a moment when I felt pretty close to you, right? And so there is like the the the, the onion of that being like I felt I felt pretty close to you, and I felt pretty when I was close to you. Yes, um, is like a really cool it's like a like moment. double sentiment to kind of put that. I, I, I love, love I love when lyrics sort of build up over time, okay. like the take me to bed and tell me a story. Wait, right, okay. like that. So that like it changes meaning, yeah. sort of halfway through. Like I, I love that. Or Duhas this... from from Ramstein. <laughs> yeah, I, I think about the song so often because you keep saying that to me. Right. Um, anyways, uh, this song is actually not in the musical. I, I saw that. Yeah. So it's not. I think they said they play it sometimes, don't they? Yeah, they play it sometimes. I think this okay, is no, probably this was the a song one, that they... This is the one that that original originally went where. Oh yes. Myth. Myth Levi was. Yeah, Myth Levi. Yeah. So this song makes me all um, sad. Um, it is sad. It makes me really sad. Uh, I like to think of it as this is a song that somehow Carrie and Trevor both thought they were dead, and then this is Carrie's version of thinking Trevor's dead. They thought each other were dead, or they yes. both thought they were dead? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of weird. Are you dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? Uh, are we both dead? <laughs> no, I'm thinking the other person was dead. Yeah. Um, so that's what this song is to me. This song's really sad, and a lot of lyrics that Trevor sings mm-hmm. are in this song with Carrie singing them. Mm-hmm. And that oh, interesting. I didn't notice that. Like, I'm not connected enough yet to, to find that. But yeah, cool. Join the I like that. The no, line. no, I'm sure. I Makes like that. Sad. And then there's Old Man, which I definitely listened to, but I think I was too bit uh, too engrossed. I engrossed? said it right. <laughs> As you engrossed in it to write down notes. I like Old Man a lot. It's yeah. good. Wait, maybe Old Man was the one that was where Myth was. I think, I think it was. I think it was I Old think Man. Was. Yeah, Old Man was the so one they, where Myth was. They play this song sometimes. Yeah. Uh, it's good. Yeah. I, I like, like Myth to Live By better yeah. than Old Man. Yeah, um, but and in like, that place, I think it makes a lot more sense. sense. Yeah, I like yeah. Old Man a lot. But I like Old Man a lot. Like looking back. And it, again, is about sort of looking back on, on Lost and stuff. So it definitely fits my... Uh, lost. My will Not lost. 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 <laughs> lost. lost. Looking She's back thinking on about lost. that time she watched Lost. Yeah, so, uh, you know, my hot take is thank you for uh, sharing this with me because it's really cool. Yay! Um, yeah, I really, really dig it. Like, I like, like it. like, I like the I like the music. I like, like, the little YouTube clips and stuff I've watched of the people that did it. I like them oh, a I lot. So they much. seem super cool and, and are really into the music and stuff. And, like, I'm, 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 I'm a fan. Oh, so I'm going to listen to the, I'll, you know, I'll keep the, the soundtrack kind of rolling at Yay! work when I'm, when I'm doing stuff. And maybe I'll get to the oh, point where I can tell how off. <laughs> Carrie is. is. For a second, I thought you meant play it on the speakers at your job. No, I probably won't do that. Um, so but uh, but yeah, it'll it'll be in my headphones while I'm while I'm jamming, trying to solve predictive analytics problems uh, and, and my own type of bootstraps problems. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I loved it. I, th- I had a, I had a great time, and I want I really want to know more. Like that's where I'm at right now. Like I really want to know more about the production and about what happened and like you know like what what the dialogue was that happened between the songs and. Like, I, I want to know more about the story. Like, I got enough of Be More Chill that I feel like I understand really? the, the story correctly, but I don't feel like I understand the story completely. I think they should do one, one more time, and mm-hmm. then they record it, and then they put it up yeah. so people can watch it. Yeah. And that would be we, cool. We would go see it. Yes. If they did that, we would go to Seattle and see it and see my sister and check in on my kidney. And eat beachers. And eat beachers. And Jeez. It'd cafe. be a good time. All right, cool. Cafe. So that's, uh, that's, um, uh, that's Validate Me. So I've already woo. given the assignments. So on next next two weeks from now, we're going to talk about Hedwig at the Angry Inch, yes. which is a phenomenal movie. Um, and it's another I'm musical theater kind of thing. I think, I think Presley's going to be excited for that. And then she's going to, she's, you already know what you're going to tell me next mm-hmm. time. All right, so if you want to let me know or let us know what you think about Hedwig, um, send or us a message. Boy. If you want to talk about Lizard Boy or anything that we've done in the past, send us a message. Or if you want to make recommendations, send us a message. Slide in here. Basically, right? send Slide us a message. Twitter, yeah, that's exactly right. Let us know what you think, and uh, we'll be back. And until then...